Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy Brave XVS. Today, let's talk about data mine from Valkyrie Profile. We have two new collectors, Lizard, Warren, and Mistina. Okay, so basically, are they good or bad? Should you pull for them? Let's have a look together, guys. So, let's start with Mistina. Her status HP 6446. This is Mm, kind of alright for mage. Mage usually have really, really low HP. MP 280, attack 132, defend 171 is quite high for mage, but uh, I think standard today is around 180, 190. Magic is really, really high with 217. Spirit is super high as well, 207. So, based on status, she can be a little bit tanky. On magic, of course, usually this is normal and defense is really low, like I said. Alright, next is her trust master, is infinity road, weapon is a road, magic plus 140, non element, non resistant, decrease magic used by 20%. For herself only so this TMI is I think it's really good guys but it's for herself but if this for everyone this is a really really good TMI I wish they remove this but it is what it is okay let's move on to super trust master it's a passive TMI all right increase magic 80% without any restriction like equip road equip cloth or something like that you don't need to increase fire wind and dark resistant by 80%. Mm, for me, I think this is uh, one of the top tier mage super tier. Uh, however, guys, there's no killer effect. I wish I like killer effect today. Like I said before, if they have killer effect, this will be super good. But overall, it's really nice. Okay. Next is her ability. Okay, I will not go into deep detail on this because I have free time to make this pretty presentation for you guys. So basically, she can do do cast, triple cast, with fire, dark, wind element, with chaos wave awakening. Okay, so the damage multiply is quite high with the maximum of 42 time multiply, and you can stack them over and over. And her cooldown ability is really nice as well. She can, you know, debuff the enemy and buff herself. And two other abilities that she have for special kit is one of them is MP heal and regeneration on MP. Ignore that. <laughs> and the other ability is mitigate magic damage taken by 20%. To all allies for three turn. Also increase limit burst gauge for three turn. All right, and this can be triple cast as well. So if you can increase by three, increase it three times. So that's nice. If you have an uh, emergency that you need to use limit burst on your healer on your tanker, so you can use this as an emergency limit burst free rate. Okay. Next is her passive. All right. So her passive, as you can see. She can get buff when you could with hat and road to magic and the rest is not that much you know stand out. She can you know um, increase equipment magic by 100% only 100 usually it's 150 for you know magic user I think and oh I messed up a little bit here apologize but anyway nothing much except limit burst upgrade right here which you can kill magic spirit break to caster and increase magic by 300% for caster one time and then she will do win magic damage guys for 14 hit okay with 45 time multiply so basically if you use her limit burst okay I, I kind of like this but I wish she have um, impend as well on top of this, so she can do massive damage. So basically, when you use limit burst, she kill all you know bad status for magic. She buff herself for three hundred percent, and she do massive damage on forty five time multiply. This is really nice. However, we have to see if this chainable. But from you know dark vision come out. If for me, for me personally, if. The limit burst, okay, when you cast it, it cannot chain with someone else. It's kind of useless now, in my opinion. This means that, you know, you have to use another two collector and then chain with it. So it's kind of, mm, 
not that good. All right. Okay. So next, let's talk about Warren. Okay. If I spell the name wrong, I'm apologize. Feel free to let me know in the comment down below, guys. Let's start with his status. His status is quite nice and 4599, decent for mage, 285, okay, it's very good for MP. Attack 130, kind of poof. Defense and spirit 168 is a poof. Magic 218, okay. Let's talk about magic 218. I believe he is a top tier magic best status in the game i think it's maybe the best okay and spirit with 210 he have one point more than that chick and spirit is a little bit more i believe okay so overall his status is op guys really strong character next is his trust master reward infinity rope okay uh, status defense plus 28, magic plus 55, spirit plus 42, non element, non resistant. Okay, and additional effect is give dark resistant by 50% with himself only. So, uh, limited edition, give it to himself, kind of. Mm. All right, as you know, let's skip. Oops, next is his. Super Trust Master Reward. Apologize on that, guys. Infinity Road, Magic 168. Wait, is it called Infinity Road? Roof, roof, roof is Lizard Tomb. I mean, <laughs> I forgot to change it. Apologize first time. Okay, um, it's a weapon. Magic plus 168. Non element, non resistant. Increase magic. Uh, MP by 20% and increase equipment magic by 50 accurate by 24 or uh, 25 we, you, we don't really need this um, maybe we do because uh, we have magic evade now um, and 150 on any single wheel so she is a dual wheel collector then it's all right this is hard to find guys yeah? quite rare and it's a super TMR though everything is TMR but yeah it's gonna be too OP all right next is his Ability, he have a lot of ability guys and I have to say guys this two collector from Barclay profile is really really good Okay, they are easy and simple to use and they are really really powerful and he come with Do cast and triple cast you don't need to do anything. They are come out as um Permanently if you equip it his team you can cast this all the time three cast all the time Okay, and the thing is if you get both of them, which is like if you are a fan of Valkyrie profile, you can chain, okay? They both are Chaos Wave Awakening, okay? I think Kumi tried to sell both of them so we can do Dark Vision. So for example, this guy can do Fire, that she can do Fire, he can do Dark, and that she can do Dark. And he have Lightning for someone else, okay? Um, I haven't checked who can do Lightning, but overall, let's check it now, okay? And let's talk about the other ability, Revive one allies by 30 percent and he have limit burst free rate of 150 and increased resistance to dark and uh, defend and spirit by 100 percent okay and his cooldown ability is impend fire light and dark and and give a break to all enemy for 70 percent that's nice and his one of the his cooldown ability is eight hit is do 75 time multiply. It's, it will do that massive damage, guys. Let's talk about Shane. Who can do fire Shane, uh, lightning Shane with him? Okay, from the look at the Wikipedia, uh, with lightning Shane, you can Shane with Dark Mage Vivi. Okay, fire can do with Vivi as well. Shantoto can do lightning, fire, oh, oh, and high. So most of the mage, meta mage today, can do it. Sweet Nico also can chain. No, no, Sweet Nico cannot. So basically, almost everyone, guys, he can chain with almost everyone. They usually have fire or dark or lightning. So he's not bad. Overall, he can chain with everyone. All right. Next <coughs> is his passive ability. His passive ability, as you can see, he based on road. Oh, yeah, 
Okay, skip this page. <laughs> I messed it up. Apologize again. So basically, his passive ability he can um buff his magic by equipped with road, and he can get 100% increase in magic for single wheel by 100%, guys. So he's the wheel collector, and he have a lot of um offense, uh, fairy eater, man eater, and reaper. Not bad at 75%. Usually, miss lack on killer effect. So yeah, he's not bad guys. And his limit burst is Meta Swan. Okay. Increase whoop. What's going on man? Okay. Increase hey man, come on. Increase limit burst damage by 150% for one turn to caster can be dispel. Whoa, nice. You increase limit burst first, and then you do magic damage with 55 times multiply to all enemy for 8 hit. Then you decrease fire, lightning, and dark resistance by 120%. And then you heal yourself, MP heal for 350. And then next turn, you can cast all this element again. So let me conclude, okay? So on this banner, we get two super good mage that I think is will be a top tier, of course, because they just come out. I don't. I'm. Pretty sure with multiply that I look, he will do. They will do massive damage, if, especially if you combine both of them together. But do you need it? Not really, guys. If you have previous collector of uh, mage from you know anyone, basically from you know Chan Toto, Heist, whatever, um, even so, man, is they still good enough in my opinion? They will do. A little bit more damage maybe like 20 30 percent and my my smile is run out of power so wait apologize guys yes my mouth run out of power how do I shut it down <laughs> I cannot move anymore all right so um, yeah I think I will cut the videos and finish the video apologize guys the mouth out of power and uh, let's conclude. Should you pull on this? Yeah, like I said, you have a previous mate. You don't need to pull them. But if you are a big fan of Valkyrie profile, go ahead, go for it. All right, they are cool. They look pretty cool, especially this man. And the shake is all right. I kind of like this man the most. I think he's the MVP of this banner. And the other collector that come out is, I think it's a 4 star base, that is really good. He come with armor with dragon killer. I think if we are free to play or we don't try to grab him, try to grab that guy with armor with dragon killer guys. That is the best TMR for dragon. Alright, that's it for me. I hope you enjoy this and apologize for a little bit error. I have free time and I try to you know, make something pretty for you guys to watch. And anyway guys, that's it for me and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. You guys have a good day. Alright, my mouse work again. Later, guys. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.